Here we have our Russell Hobbs milk frother. We're going to be having a look at the inner workings as well as the underneath of the machine. If I remove the stainless steel container, what I'll see underneath is a hot plate. That's what warms and heats my milk. If I put this back and I remove this clear lid, on the inside, I'll see a minimum as well as a maximum line and this lovely non-stick coating that'll prevent anything from sticking. At the bottom here, we have our actual frother attachment. This fits magnetically to the bottom. And if I flip this over, you'll see. To replace it, all I need to do is drop it in the bottom of the container. Now I'm gonna be adding some milk. I'm going to secure my lid. To select what mode I want to use, you'll notice that every time I press this button, the letter T will change color. Blue is for cool, green is for baby, purple is for foam, and red is for hot. Once I've selected what mode I want to use, I'm going to then press the on button. When you're done and you're happy with your froth, you can switch your machine off. Always be careful, the frother is quite hot on the stainless steel bowl, so always use the handle. And there you have wonderful frothed milk for your tea, for your coffee, or a hot chocolate, or to drink on its own. Just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, just by using a teaspoon, I can make these lovely peaks of nicely warmed frothed milk.